Hey guys, it's Jamie here again with my indicator. Today is the 1st of October, it's a Sunday, and I just wanted to round the week off uh, in the Destroyer group, show you some results, show you what we've got planned. Um, this week has been absolutely crazy. Uh, we released the uh, new Destroyer 4.0 on Monday, and uh, I've just had my emails have just crashed because obviously we've got a lot of members now and we're trying to get everybody on the server you know with the new destroyer and it's just been a little bit crazy but I'm slowly got through there uh, you know and then we can start fresh again on Monday and um, I wanted to show you a quick little sort of like talking about the charts because I had a good friend of mine round last night and you know cut a long story short you know two years ago I said to him look I want to get into uh, trading you know I'm gonna buy a nice car and have a nice lifestyle go travel the world you know and um, you know he was like yeah okay you know I'll see it when I believe it and you know now I am slowly leaving my job got a nice car you know and I've got the potential to just go travel the world so he wanted to get involved too so I gave him a quick little lesson on trading what to spot you know and how you can use that with the destroyer so what we got here okay is just pure naked price action and it's using the daily charts okay because what beginners lot of well what a lot of beginners find is if when they're on the one minute time frames okay it's very noisy you know the market goes up and down really quick you know and if you're not used to trading and you're a beginner it's like a recipe for disaster because you start panicking and you know it's just not a good way to trade you know all you need to do is go to let's say the five minute time frame and then it just becomes less noisy you know and you've got more time to assess the situation you know you got five minutes for each candlestick so you got five ten minutes you know before you can need you need to take a trade it's not like the one minute charts where you just wanna you know you gotta get in there and get out quick you know and that's when you start gambling your money and, and when you think about it trading is actually easy you just need to break it down and just look at the picture you know and you'll find the sooner the higher time frames you know the 30 minutes the one hours you know and um, that is where you start spotting patterns you know I'm looking at the 15 minute time frame now you know and just off the top of my head I see a nice little uh, you know I see a nice little trend line can you see that have we got a bounce I'll zoom in we see we've got a nice bounce, a bounce, a bounce, a bounce, a bounce, a bounce, you know, and if you were trading the 15 minute time frame, you know, that would have been 1 nil, 2 nil, 3 nil, 4 nil, 5 nil, 6 nil, you know, and, and again, you know, we've got a nice downtrend here, uh, going down, uh, massive downtrend there, uh, And again, you've got another one kind of here when I can draw my trend line. But we see, you know, you can zoom in and you've got, uh, just moved it one minute. So you've got pretty much. You know, a bounce there, a bounce there, a bounce there, a bounce there, a bounce, a bounce, a bounce, a bounce, a bounce. You know, before it actually broke that trend line. And then you can see, zooming down as well, you see a nice little uh, support line. Hold on, I can't draw me trend lines this morning for some reason. There we go. So, you know, you would have seen, just using war price action, you know, you could have took trades there, 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 there. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight nil. Then it broke the trend line, okay, and then it had a bounce off that support. Can you see that support there? Bounce right off that support there, broke the trend line, then we had a, a bounce there. So you're looking at about five, ten nil just by trading. 15 minute time frames now I'm not saying trade the 15 minute time frames but you try and do this 
on the one minute time frame where it's kind of going up and down every second you know you get less patterns here you know you can see off the top of my head you know a nice sort of I say trend line there you know we can see a bounce a bounce and then it kind of broke that trend line and then it re bounced there but the problem with the fifth, with the one minute time frames is you've got all these false signals here you know you think the price will go down there but it doesn't it goes back up then it goes back down you think okay it's going to go down now but it then goes back up and it's very noisy you know if you're you know a pro trader you know yeah you can trade the one minute time frames because you start you spotting patterns and everything like that but when you look at the higher time frames you know you've got more time to trade you know i know people that trade day traders you know that trade that trade literally just off uh the day the the um, the daily charts you know and what they do is they will do one hour of checking the charts every night and that's it that's all they do one hour every day because it's the daily charts you know every day they're checking it you know and they check the things like the monthly and the weekly time frames you know and i just wanted to show you how we can integrate that with the destroyer you know so we're looking at the daily charts okay and we've got absolutely loads of time to trade you know it with, when you trade higher time frames yeah it doesn't matter what time of the day you check your charts okay what you do is you need to check your charts at 10 o'clock every night when the market kind of slows down uh, and then the asian um the asian market opens up but that's that's 10 o'clock my time london time but you can check the charts any time of the day you know a lot of people go oh, i struggle with work and stuff but when you start trading the higher time frames you've got you know you haven't got less time it gives you more time because you actually can actually look at the whole picture you know if you're trading let's say the hour charts okay i mean look here's a nice setup here just off the top of my head you can see a nice support line here and look you see how when you take trade the higher time frames it everything looks more clearer there's less noise and it's just more simpler you see we've got a, a bounce a bounce a bounce a bounce then it broke retouch there retouch there retouch there so that'll be one two three four five six nil okay but the thing is because we're trading the hour time frames okay you have got like let me give you uh example okay look at this one here okay each candlestick represents an hour so i would have got to about here and gone okay if the price goes back up to that line there i will take a trade you know she's looking at one so you're looking at one hour, two hour, three hour, four hour, five hour, and there we go. There's my entry, you know, and I would have won. And that is just like what's good about trading the higher time frames. You know, you can you can go check it in the morning, come back at night, check it at night. But I want to show you how we can use this with the destroyer. Okay. And we can see a nice uptrend here. You know, we got a uh, we got a run, we've got a pullback, a run. And a pullback you know and then a run and a pullback market always goes up and down that's all it does you know we've got to we got to run a pullback a run a pullback a run and now we're going in an uptrend we've got to run and a pullback a run and a pullback can you see that so how do we integrate that with the destroyer um simple you load the destroyer up and you see you know you see how we've got these nice signals here there is in the buy and sell zone signals appeared it shoots up then we've got a pullback here you know can you see here we've got a, a run a pullback right i always try and teach my 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 uh students this that um you want to trade every red arrow that's going down or every green arrow that's going up so you'd be looking for the reds telling me it's going down and the greens telling me it's a pullback so we'd have a pullback with the green arrow red arrow there's my entry winner then there's my green arrow telling me there's a pullback there's a red there's a red arrow pullback i mean run you know signal there one and then now we're going back up so you'd have had your signal there you'd have won my red arrow is telling me it's a pullback my red my green arrow is, there's my trade it's a run my red arrow is a pullback my green arrow is my trade with a, with the trend there's my red arrow telling me there's another pullback and there's my green arrow and it won 
you know and if you're like smart you know we're not smart but like if you zoom out and actually look at the picture because a lot of people when they trade they're like this yeah that's going down I'm taking that trade yeah I'm going down that's winning you know and then you lose and then you get so frustrated you think right that's it I'm gonna double my money now okay and and, and then you ultimately you're not, you're not going anywhere you need to just zoom out and look at the picture you know uh, like like let's say we got to here okay so this is let's we'll pretend that the market's working okay so we got okay you know it looks like we're going up now there's me pull back there there's me run there's me pull back and it's going up okay now you could think okay I'm, I'm not going to take that trade because I don't know what's happening and then it shoots up you know and here we go there's my another pullback now because we can clearly see now we are going in an uptrend right there's my signal there that green arrow so I can see okay that we are already started to go up and the thing about the daily time frame okay is this is like you know that probably took weeks to happen but my point is about a daily, just checking the daily time frame is from there to about there is some serious pips you know you're talking probably easily depending on how big your account is you know from 200 pound to maybe 10 grand worth of trades you know and all you need when you trade the daily is one trade a month you know you'll find that people when they trade the daily and the four hour time frames and sometimes the hour time frames they don't trade 10 trades a day they'll maybe do five six trades a week if that maybe 10 trades a month you know because they are waiting for perfect setups you can see here you know we've got a nice uh, support line here right can you see that there you know we've got a bounce comes back up doesn't really break above it drops then we had a retouch there there's my signal arrow goes down there's my green arrow there's my pullback another red arrow down you know and this is trading the one hour time frame so literally if you'd got in there okay you're talking probably 24 hours before you would have took profit but that would have been a serious amount of money you would have made um so yeah you know that is how i was trying to explain to my friends how you can obviously um integrate price action with the destroyer because the story is based basically off price action you know um we've got a nice little head and shoulders here first head there's a shoulder there's a top head uh there's the other shoulder and then the price drops and we all know about head and shoulders if you don't just give it a quick youtube head and shoulders trading and you will start spotting patterns in trading and that's the thing about trading spotting the patterns and how we can use the show because a lot of people always ask me okay and it really kind of frustrates me they go um oh what's the success ratio of the destroyer and and people think that like um you know it's just a every time an arrow pops up you take a trade okay and i've made a video on that okay me, me taking every single arrow there's a video on it if you search it uh, i took every single trade uh, every single trade and every time an arrow appeared and i actually finished it in profit i think i did like four one or something like that four wins one loss but my point is if you want to be 100 percent you know 80 percent 90 percent success ratio just understand a bit of how the market works you know spotting trend lines spotting support and resistance lines and when you use that with the destroyer it's like gold dust, you know it's like heaven you know you can you think oh yeah I can see that uptrend I can see that trend happening there's my signal arrow and I get in and then you win it um, so yeah you know I want to flick over and show you the VIP group and what's been going on this week has been absolutely awesome again for results um Chris talking about here. Hey, so guys, had a, has I so guys, I promise as simple as this looks, it really easy getting these five minute trays. Here's the explanation of you who doesn't and understand it. So Charlie is talking about his five minute strategy with the destroyer, which is you know again fantastic because everybody has their own little way of trading. Some people like trading the five minute trades, some like I said, like to trade the one hour charts. So, you know, we can scroll down here, uh, again, talking about another strategy. 
I mean, look at this for results. Hello, BD family. I started using the BD last week, Friday, after waiting for it nearly two months. So he, she has been obviously watching the Binance Shoya for two months before she said, right, I'm gonna buy it, okay? So in her, she said, I made $1,063 profit within five days from a 500 pound deposit. I can proudly say it is worth the wait. I'd like to thank Jamie Palmer. Thank you so much for the BD team. You know, and it's absolutely, I mean, you can see the results she had. I mean, it's just amazing. Obviously, that's not eight lots, that's eight micro lots. So she's only trading 0.8, not eight lots. So don't think she's, uh, you know, trading big. Um, anyone know best? Uh, just uh, a lot of people are talking about this new server that's been going on and how everything works. Um, asking if I can start with a hundred pound in my forex account is that enough? Um, my forex trades for this week. Um, yeah, I did. I I I did really well with my forex trades this week. Um, I won't actually show you my. Well, I'll show you. So these are my trades for this week with the destroyer. Um, you know we can see. Uh, you know I did quite well. I had a rubbish day on Tuesday, but I was saying how. I was saying how I did seven trades on Tuesday, two on Wednesday, which I made a video of because I made a video uh, of me trading live in the VIP group because it's training Wednesday every Wednesday. Remember to be patient. I had I have a target and I walk away. I hit my target on Wednesday with two trades, so I walked away. And and three was my target today. Tuesday was rubbish for me, but I but uh, I kept getting stocked out. But setting my one percent risk is what kept me in profit. You know, and you can see down here, I did quite well. Um, a lot of guys are talking. Hi guys, took three trades this morning. All winners. Just hope these can be can can assist with some of you who are struggling. And like like he's saying, right? He's using just simple. Look, he's using a simple EMA, okay? And he's going with the trend. And like he says, look, he's being patient. We can clearly see we're in a downtrend. Okay, you know, sell zone, correct, overbought on the RSI, the M30, you can't see that. Well, you can't see that anyway because half my screen's gone. But the trend dash is telling him exactly the same thing that it's down. And, you know, signals appeared and he won. And that's trading the one minute time frame. So you can see, you know, that even he's got his own little strategy with the destroyer and he's ha having absolutely fantastic results. Um, I'm going to leave it there. Um, only re seven forex trades today, eight percent increase. Thank you very much. That's absolutely fantastic. Hi guys, just another tip for anyone who here here. Uh, I can see nine opportunities. I'll just want to take this opportunity to thank Jamie and the team for this money making this. Res Money making machine. The results for today after a while not trading. Let's see what he made. When it loads up. 1,100. Wow. And I think that's real money as well. That's a live account. That's absolutely fantastic. He ain't even got a loss. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 nil he's done. £1,000 profit in a week. I mean, that's fantastic. Um, so, yeah, I wanted to leave it there, um, you know, because I've been going on and talking for 18 minutes now. Uh, hopefully next week we'll be talking, you know, I'll be showing you more results and showing you how the indicator works. Um, you know, and hopefully do some live trading for you. So I'm going to leave it there. You know, you can drop me an email, thebinalshoyer at gmail.com. Thank you.